guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, today, guys, as you can see here, we'll be looking at the Acer Chromebook 15, which is the CB3-532. And of course, this is a bit overview for those who are thinking of purchasing this device. And you can see from the front and all the way to the back, the design. You can see the events on the back here, as well as the serial information and product information. Now, this Chromebook is produced, as you can see here, by... Um, by the company Acer and of course if it's a Chromebook that you're actually trying to um, purchase it can be a great device once you know the functions and the features of the Chromebook as a online device that is unlike Windows although it can be used for um, processing word processing using um, Google Docs and so on and saving your files online except that it's heavily reliant on online services as you can see here this is the keyboard section and you can see the screen right here you can see the chrome booting up along with the webcam and you see the acer logo at the bottom of the screen and the chrome OS is quite fast and there's the touchpad it looks like a traditional laptop but it's not since it's not running windows i think this version has 16 gigabytes you can see the login screen right here and from here you can just go ahead and log in or just use the browser as guess this is the features such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and accessibility. A little bit different, but if you have ever used anything like Windows, you should be familiar. You can see the model number here. It has 100 gigabytes online storage, HDMI port. It has HDR webcam and a very fast Wi-Fi and up to 12 hours battery life. And down here, you see that the storage is with Google Drive. So this actually integrates with Google's online services to give you a laptop. And of course, um, there are two ways people end up with these, as I've always found out. Either they thought it was a Windows laptop and bought it out of error since the price was so good. Or, of course, you intentionally bought it because you know exactly what it is and you are intent on using the features. And as you can see, it's quite nice design. Looks just like a traditional laptop. And the only way to know is actually use it or look out for the um, Chrome logo and information that's stored on it. And, of course, the only thing that I don't like about these guys is that I would have liked if they actually run Android apps straight off the bat but of course you just have to use what's there or find a way to modify it for it to run um, other apps such as um, Android apps and so on and this is it um, once it has logged in inside is an Intel processor as well and you can see right away it goes to the um, Chrome browser and you can actually watch videos only through streaming so there is nothing that can be stored locally as it's not a very large hard drive you can go to Chrome you can go to your files settings and so on which is just a typical you can see the traditional desktop look with the chrome based wallpaper you can connect to wi-fi as you can see your battery over here you can adjust um, volume you can go to settings you have the keyboard settings you can go to um, night mode or light mode dark mode and of course notifications bluetooth and of course connect to the internet as i said this is meant to be an online connected device you can have an offline mode but you'd have to actually know how to do that and go online and change the settings so in order to go offline you have to actually do that that way and of course the only other way to get features such as word processor and so on for is to go offline mode or of course you could try um, cross-loading um, apps from places such as um, apk files which go along with um, the android operating system but of course that's not a direct use of this but that's the only way you can get certain level of functionality out of these so of course um, as i said the only way to use this is if you just need something to browse the internet and stream and of course use google services so it's not really full features or full fledged you can see the settings here and of course there's a bunch of settings around here as you can see you can control wi-fi you can control bluetooth change the font size and see your various devices such as the touchpad and so on yeah, bluetooth appearance device um search engines and so on and of course this is just the um setting section of the chrome browser itself i hope in the future um the guys over at google will add more functionality but for now it's just a bare bone system it's better than um, a few years ago but basically it's still very very limited and of course if you're not the type of person that knows your way around um, certain things like laptops and so on you might have issues because most users just want to just get on and like produ produce documents or basically save files or watch a movie or play their favorite music or songs or so on so that's what i'm saying that if you do not know what this is if you know what it is and know what is limitation you'll be fine but if you don't it's not um as nice as a regular 
um, Apple laptop or of course a Windows laptop as most people are used to. So make sure that if you're going to get this, you know exactly what you're in for. It's very limited as 16 gigabytes is used up very, very fast. You can see the inputs over here. There's HDMI, there's a power um, outlet. Next to it, you have this blue USB 3.0 and of course the headphone jack, which is typical of a laptop. There are two USB 3.0 ports. One is on this side, the other is on the other side. I'll show you that in a minute. And of course, the HDMI to connect to something such as um, a TV or external monitor. So as I said, guys, these things are very um, limited. They're not as full featured as a full laptop, although they do cost a decent amount. They're cheaper than a traditional laptop. But of course, in most cases, you might just want to end up get a laptop um, as these are very hard to use. As I've found, most people do not actually like these. But just in case you're in for one, they're showing you what you're in for. On this side, you can see over here, guys, the... USB 3.0 port, it's on this side, the SD card slot, um, and of course, the Kinsen lock section right there. And of course, that wraps up our video, guys. So that has been Ricardo Gardner from Block Tech Tips, an overview of the ASA Chromebook 15. So, we've got the same until next time. Bye.